Well, hello friends, welcome to a new 3DS Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to finish our uh, final project scene. And uh, the last thing we are going to do is to create the furs on the carpet as we have told before. So I'm going to just select the carpet and hit Alt Q to isolate it. There are actually uh, three methods, I guess, uh, that comes to my mind that you can do this with, but I want to show you the last days, the last months, I'm, I, I've started using hair and fur again, the uh, built-in uh, fur creating tool in 3ds Max. I'll briefly tell you a, an alternative way to this, but uh, the, as I told you, I, I guess in the last like four or five projects, I have used uh, hair and fur and, and I really like the results. So uh, I want to show that to you first, okay? I guess there are some built-in uh, shading stuff that goes uh, with hair and fur, which creates uh, uh, overall better looking furs. That, that's my opinion. Um, but we can also use some other scatter tools and we will talk about that. Okay, let's name the carpet first. Uh, let's call this carpet. Uh, the second thing I want to do is to add some noise to this. Uh, let's add the noise modifier on top and just a little bit of a noise should be enough. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy, but that little subtle um, change uh, of height uh, will create uh, interesting shadows on the carpet uh, in the last render. So I really like to use that. Uh, so I have uh, uh, put in 16 for the scale and one for the Z height. And I have ended up with uh, this um, a little bit noisy plane. And then on top of this, uh, I want to add the hair and fur modifier. And first you will see that this looks like a grass. And I guess the base uh, thing that you do with this was grass back then. Uh, I never use this for grass anymore because we use real um, models for gra grass, which looks much better than this. Uh, but for uh, fibers, uh, fabric fibers or um, carpet fibers, uh, I use this uh, modifier. And as you can see, uh, it created uh, these grass-like fibers in all around the uh, plane or all around the... Actually, this is a box uh, because it has a thickness. So uh, what we want to do first is to just put them on the top side. So. What I'm going to do is to go to uh, go ahead and select the polygon mode in here. And I'm going to just select these faces. I can hit F4 to see uh, the edges clearly. And I guess I made the right choice, like the top faces. And then I'm going to hit update selection, which will uh, only put those uh, grass-like fibers on top uh, of the carpet. Then uh, we will go to general parameters in here. We can decrease the scale a little bit. And you can see that now we have shorter fibers. We can uh, decrease the root thickness, which will, as you can see, make fibers a little bit thinner in the root side. Uh, let's uh, set this to four. And uh, for the tip thickness, I'm going to input three. And you will right away see that the, these fibers look much more like a, uh, a the fibers from a carpet, I guess. Uh, they are still green, so uh, they still look a little bit grassy. So let's uh, change the color as well. I'm going to drop the saturation for the tip color and for the root color as well. And it will instantly turn to gray, as you can see. Uh, let's yeah, let's deselect this and see what it looks like. Yeah, this looks more like a carpet in my opinion. Uh, not, uh, of course, it's not realistic yet because we haven't uh, rendered this yet. But before we even render, I want to uh, introduce some more hair count as well because it looks a little bit uh, sparse, I guess. And I'm going to just add uh, a zero at the end of this to make it more dense. And you can see that this should look much better in the final render. And I guess the this material, this built-in material in here has uh, some kind of... Uh, translucency built in and also some kind of a uh, ambient occlusion effect built in so it gi uh, gives us great results at the end let's see uh, let's get a render and see what's going on and uh, one more trick i want to show you while uh, uh, as we render this 
is that you will see that we can't really see any detail uh, on the carpet because this is too small and Corona tends to get a blurry render uh, at first. Uh, it creates uh, a anti uh, anti noise effect or denoise effect, and it uh, it's very blurry as you can see. You can't really see these small details with Corona render when you are rendering with uh, the full viewport in a preview mode. Of course, in the final result, you will see everything uh, better. Uh, you can see that as we wait, uh, it starts to make it a little bit more sharp. But uh, anyways, I'm, I want to look at this uh, more close uh, uh, from a closer uh, point of view, I guess. Anyways, so what I recommend you to do is let's uh, drag this to the left side and you can go to the render setup and under area to render, you can choose blow up and you can just set a region uh, to zoom in and then Corona will render you this and you will see uh, as I wait a little bit you will see that it will look much more crisp sharp and you can you will be able to see the uh, a preview that's closer to the final render uh, much closer to the final render so let's wait a little bit and see the end results um, this is how it looks and you can even zoom in further to uh, uh, make these areas more sharp as well you can just zoom in and uh, Corona will only render this region if you do that and you will see that it uh, renders faster uh, than it should when you zoom in and you can uh, see uh, little details I guess this can be improved but it's very uh, very uh, close to a final result and it's like uh, it didn't take that much time right it, we just uh, throw in a modifier and just played with the values like 30 seconds and voila we have this so if you if you want to improve this of course uh, you can uh, you should uh, actually but uh, i guess this is a very good result for this uh, much time input uh, okay uh, we have created the carpet as well and this was the uh, final lesson for this uh, series the, for the final project as well we, we, we will only uh, we will have one more video after this uh, which is a preview of the corner render tutorial I have talked about in the previous lessons uh, see you in that video please uh, share your final results with me in the in Facebook in Instagram and I, will, I wonder I really want to keep in touch with you and if you if uh, you have any suggestions for the next series uh, to improve uh, your experience please write them in the comments and if you find this useful please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and thanks for listening see you in the next lesson